In this video, we're gonna be using Chicago Grooming Company Shiloh and the Henson TI-22 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We have a good one for you today. We're gonna to be using Chicago Grooming Company Shiloh, and Chicago Grooming Company is formerly known as Oleo. They really make good soaps. I haven't used them for a while, but not because they're not good, because they certainly are. And this one, smells magnificent. If you like the scent of classic uh, Aqua di Parma Colonia, an Italian citrus type scent, that's what it is. This is, excuse me. We'll put the notes on the screen there for you. The notes on this one, I don't think, if you, if I were just to look at the notes on this one, I'd go, eh, I don't know, because it's got like rosemary and rose and sandalwood, but believe me, this is an Italian citrus type scent and it's one of my favorite scents of all time. Really, really nice. The cost on this, uh, I got this at the Razor Company, $18 for four ounces. That is $4.50 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. And this is a tallow-based soap, and it's made in there a canard base, which is duck fat. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. The consistency of this soap is, it's on the firm side, which I like. I didn't have to use um, much soap, and I got quite a bit of lather. So good value on the soap, great scent. Um, everything about it I like, so we'll see how it, <laughs> we'll see if I like it when we use it. We have it lathered up in our Captain Choice bowl, and let's just get right into it. Oh, I guess I should talk about the razor first, though. The razor today is the Henson Titanium. This is called the TI-22. Retails for $249, right? $249 US, which for titanium, it's not a bad price. It's a lot of money, but for titanium, that's pretty reasonable, and uh, I have enjoyed using this razor. Some people are not a fan of the Henson razor, but I found that they do work well. What happens is for a lot of people, they get the the medium or the uh, mild and they don't feel like they're cutting. But what I found was they do cut, just can't feel a lot of blade. This particular one is in the aggressive, which I do like. I prefer a little more blade feel and this one brings it. The only thing I don't um, care for about Henson is that um, they don't have an aggressive plate in the aluminum. And the last time I used the Henson razor, another person said they had no plans to make um, an aggressive plate in aluminum, which I think is a mistake if that is in fact true. And Henson, if you are watching, please comment below and let us know one way or the other. And if I don't hear back at some point, I will just reach out to them directly. I was told they were, um, and now a gentleman commented on my last Henson video and said they were not. Uh, however, he was not a representative of Henson, so. I would like to know one way or the, the other. I think it would be a mistake not to make the aggressive plate in aluminum because not everybody is going to be able to spend $250 on titanium. And so, you know, the aluminum is more affordable and a lot of people like aluminum. So I like to see people getting a chance to, you know, try these different plates for, you know, reasonable price, although I love this titanium. Not everybody is going to, you know, be able to, to obtain one. And also, um, they don't keep a lot of them in stock, so you kind of have to sign up. Uh, it'll email you when one's available. Um, so you can go to their site and check all that out. But it is a good razor. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely different because of the angle. It really bends the blade down this way quite dramatically. You can't, it's really difficult to see, but the blade is really bent down at a pretty uh, extreme angle, but it cuts nicely. And the aggressive plate, like I said before, you do get some uh, blade feel from, so I like that, of course, because I do like to feel the blade. This soap smells magnificent. If you're a fan of Sterling Piacenza or Razor Rock Triple X, and you want to add another soap to your collection that smells like those, this one is uh, quite good. And, and for to my nose, it's robustly scented too. So that's a, definitely a plus. You definitely get a lot of the scent. It is very nice and uh, I'm certainly enjoying it. The Henson razor here kind of sets the angle for you, the way the head is built. You just kind of put it to your face and and go, it kind of 
the angle sort of built into the way the razor is when you hold it against your skin. So you don't really have to tinker too much on the angle, which is nice. I know some people have uh, sort of uh, said they didn't think that was a great idea, that it's kind of maybe a razor with training wheels or something like that, or it doesn't teach new shavers to use proper angle. But to me, honestly, folks, shaving is not rocket science. The most difficult thing by far with respect to traditional shaving is figuring out what your face will tolerate over time and you know what you can and cannot do with it. The actual act of shaving itself is not difficult whatsoever. Uh, most of us have been doing it our whole lives. Or, you know, at least anybody with a professional job, um, because a lot of those jobs require you know they have grooming standards. You know, and for the first probably, I don't know. 10 or 15 years of my professional career, you weren't allowed to have any sort of uh, beard. So, you know, shaving every day was a part of my life. And now as a hobbyist, of course, it's part of my life because I enjoy it. Back then I didn't enjoy it, but uh, the shaving thing is not difficult. And I know now and then you'll see people who, um, I think Glenn Helley was mentioning this in his last video where someone had talked about folks with uh, beards or goatees making shaving videos and sort of frowning on that and <clears throat> and I'll tell you I didn't always have a, a goatee I didn't bring this on until I shaved the head and it was necessary to break up the face a little bit otherwise you look like a thumb <laughs> if you're bald at least I do I'm not saying you do but you know I look like this without this so that's why I have what I call the bald kit but anyway I think Glenn was saying that they were kind of like, yeah, those guys, they don't shave their entire face as if it's some big deal to do. <laughs> so, believe me, I've done it um, prior to growing the go goatee. It is not a big deal. I never cut myself on my stash area nor chin using um, safety razors or straight razors. The most aggressive DE razor. It's, it is not rocket science. There is no need to pound your chest. Um, Really, with experience and time, anyone can do this. You know, it's just a matter of learning what your face will tolerate. That's the biggest um, chore. So it's more, it's really more listening to your face is the most difficult thing to do. Because most most people, when they're new to, tra to traditional shaving, they just want to tear in there and just start shaving and shaving. And you have to pick up on the signs that your skin and face are giving you. And when you do that, um, you'll get better and better as time goes on. When you ignore it and just continue doing the same things, you'll have problems. But believe me when I say just, you know, whether you're shaving your entire face, whether you're shaving your head, your chest, legs, armpits, whatever, it's all shaving. Some areas are a little more difficult. The head is the most difficult um, for me, but I imagine ladies who shave their legs I imagine that's even more difficult. So you have a lot of these males run around talking about, I've shaved my whole face. And then, you know, you, the ladies are shaving behind their knees and all these very difficult parts. So if anybody's got it difficult, it's probably the ladies, men. So take a seat, relax. Take a seat and relax. Don't, don't get too worked up over <laughs> But uh, I, for one, am really happy to have uh, my bearded shave it shavers out there, fully bearded shavers like DK, and everyone is welcome in this hobby and everyone can do it. That's why it's a great hobby. And so we, we need to do things that bring people together, not, um, you know, not things that aren't welcoming. Because believe me, when it comes down to it, any reasonable skilled person with reasonable dexterity can shave their entire face or head for that matter, or anything really. So let's not make it seem to be super difficult because it's not. Let's just enjoy it and go about our business and enjoy these wonderful shaves. That is the key. All right, let's get into it. I forgot to mention the blade. The blade here is the uh, Treat Black Beauty that I've been using. I give an example where knowledge and learning what your skin will tolerate is where it's very important. So on my neck, as I mentioned from time to time, the grain runs this way. So I do it across the grain pass down and two up, typically. 
because if I go this way, it does not like that. It never has. I've done it some in the past, but trust me when I tell you, for me, that is something that it does not like. It's weeper city, it's irritation. And so learning that is what really brought about excellent results when I realized that, hey, you're gonna have to make adjustments for that because there might be some things that your skin just doesn't like or you have to find a way to deal with that. That's really where the skill comes into play. If you have reasonable dexterity, the act of shaving is no big deal, none whatsoever. The, uh, the real challenge is when to stop, when not to go too far, what areas might you not wanna do certain things. And that is where the real skill comes into play. Even if you're using a straight razor or shavette, it is more difficult, I think, physically than to ease, but it's not, again, it's not splitting atoms. It's not that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it, believe me. But knowing your face and how it responds to certain things, that's the key. That's really where it is. Once you learn that, you are on your way. But initially, you don't know. And so you it's sort of trial and error. And you can get irritation and razor burn and weepers and creepers. And, and that's the part that's not fun. But that learning process is necessary. And eventually, you might learn like me. You don't go across the grain on your neck because it's just bad for you. Other people can do that. They have no problem. But each face is different. And no one is an expert at shaving your face except for you when you develop that expertise and knowledge. You will be the expert. No one else is the expert in shaving your face. So try not to worry about what, to, what other people say about how you're doing things. If it's working for you, it's right. That's, you know, simple as that. Doesn't mean it will work for other people. But if it's right for you, that is the ticket. Very nice. You do get some blade from the um, aggressive plate with the Henson. It's not nearly as uh, mild feeling as the mild. And again, this part right here where I'm going over residual slickness, I've learned over time I can do it and get away with it. When you're new, you might not be able to. There is the risk of over shaving and irritating your face. Where the skill really comes into play is learning at what point you know, you're, you've gone too far. Okay. It's like, okay, I've done enough here. I need to stop, or I could use a little more, you know, or maybe I need to go diagonal a little bit. Maybe you need a J hook or buff this right here would be considered buffing. None of that is this is difficult. It's just a matter of learning and anyone can do it. Anyone can shave any area of their face or head or anything really. So long as they have some reasonable dexterity. Um, this is not one of those hobbies where you really have to have, you know, not playing professional basketball or <laughs> tennis, you know, it's, it's a pretty easy thing. And that's why it's great because anybody can do it. And, and that's the great part of it, I think. All right. That was an excellent shave. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, removed the soap, and then we applied our alum, our Razor Rock uh, alum stick. No stinging, so it's a nice, smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches. We had an excellent shave today with Chicago Grooming Shiloh. So if you like Sterling Piacenza or Razor Rock Triple X, you will like this scent. Very good, strongly scented, or at least medium high to strong in scent. Great quality, great stuff. Chicago Grooming Shiloh, I enjoyed it a lot. The Henson TI-22 with the treat blade on its last use, which is the third use, treated me very nicely today. Really enjoyed using that razor. Of course, we used our AP Shape Go brush and the Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, or uh, Captain's Choice bow. I'm going to finish things off today with uh, this sample of Declaration Bad Wagon that Chris Garcia sent me about a year ago. I'm still working through this, and this is a fantastic scent, too. I love it. It doesn't smell like um, Aqua de Parma Colonia, which the soap is based on, but it smells great. And let me tell you something, folks. That was an amazing shave. Let me remind you of one thing. The single most important thing or most important element in a shave is you. 
your knowledge, your learning, your experience. Once you develop that, anyone can do it. Everybody's welcome in this hobby, whether you have a beard, you shave your head, you don't shave your head, everyone's welcome. And if you see someone cracking on other people because they don't shave their head or they don't shave other parts of their face, tell them relax, Sit, have a seat and relax. Just enjoy the hobby. Uh, we're not building spacecraft in here. This is shaving. Everybody can do it. Everybody is welcome. And we want you to come into this hobby, whether you have a beard, you don't have a beard. We want you involved and to spread the word because this is a terrific hobby with terrific people. And the more, the better. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you to shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.